Good afternoon, Olivier. How Good are you today? Yeah, me, I'm fine. All right. So, in terms of the remaining issues, yeah. what are these the, the main remaining issues where you didn't reach some agreements in your thematic area? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, as you know, uh, I follow Article Six, uh, which is carbon markets which has uh, three sections. So during this uh, past week, uh, we, weren't, we weren't able to finish all the work. So that's why they, they, su they submitted the work to the minister level. So uh, in, this coming, in this coming week uh, that we are in, we are going to negotiate, they are going to negotiate it on the ministerial level. I have seen you facilitating during negotiations. So, uh, if I remember well, you, you start this uh, journey of following negotiations in, uh, I think, in 2019. So, how, 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 which ways did you use to, to achieve that high level to become a, a co facilitator in this process? Yeah, th thank you. So, as, as I told you in our first meeting, the yeah. first thing is you have to show interest. Make sure that uh, you you are well engaged in, in your thematic area. It's just a matter of time when you show interest, yeah. when you show that you are able to take responsibility and take leadership. This process is there to open your doors, especially for young and energetic negotiators. Yeah. And this is what I told you earlier on, you have to be ready for this, be into this process wholeheartedly. Yeah, so don't doubt, be eager to learn into the process and take chances wherever the chances are available you see that all everything will work out to you 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 give me advice on how i can engage uh, during these negotiations but uh, uh, you said uh, i need to engage also during coordination but uh, i don't know the, the the good way to to do it yeah yeah thank, thanks i think uh, um, you really need to one uh, know who is your coordinator within your thematic area. So know them, get their contacts, then be close to them. And another important way of learning is show them that you are there. When I mean that, I mean that uh, you should be able to ask them if there are anything else you want to do for them, to do for the team. For example, if there is a meeting, you can volunteer to take notes. If they are preparing a position, a group position, you can volunteer to write the position. So yeah. when you show that you are there, they are going to help you. And even when you are in the room, the negotiation room, be taking some notes from the interventions. Yeah. And then prepare some notes, you go back to them, tell them that from this session, I captured this. So that when you are coordinating, they should know that you really had some impact on, in the room. So with that, you see that they will be coming back to you all the time, giving you some responsibilities. And in that way, you grow and you learn more. And key is also to read most of the documents. Follow the history of the agenda item you are following so that you should not be surprised with the interventions coming during the negotiations. Because in that case, it enhances your understanding.